When I first heard that Vermeer may use the camera obscura to draw his paintings, I thought, oh, that's cheating. But then I found out how hard it was. So here is an art project where you can try to draw with a mechanical tool, kind of like the camera obscura. So I'm using my cell phone here. You can use an iPad or any kind of, even a picture will work. Even a coloring paint, but it needs to be on something hard and flat. Okay, so I'm setting it up and I'm putting a piece of glass or plastic in front of it so you can see its reflection. See, here's the reflection here. And then I'm reaching my pencil behind that piece of plastic and looking through the glass and tracing it onto the paper. So I'm taking my time looking at the lines through the glass and drawing it on the paper. It's kind of like tracing, but it's not very easy. So I thought you guys should try it. Now, of course, the bigger the object, the easier it is to trace. My phone is a little small, but it still works. So this is a good way to see what it was like for him to draw with a painting device like a camera obscura. Now, it still doesn't give you all the details or how to paint it on top of it. This is just the first sketch. So, I think he still did an amazing job, even if he did trace his original drawing. Uh, this helped him do perspective and make elaborate rooms and even detailed maps by using this technique. And that's why a lot of art historians think he used this technique. Now, we have no proof that he did other than the paintings themselves and how some things are in soft focus and out of focus and that's because of the optics and glasses looking through. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy uh, practicing and trying to do this. Uh, show me your artworks on uh, Canvas so I can see how you did. Alright, have fun guys. Bye. Here's a larger one I did with a coloring sheet printout and a large piece of glass. Here I am arranging it, lining up. Now, I thought this was harder because it was bigger, but yet harder to focus. It had like double images and made it hard to figure out which line I had to trace and which one I didn't. So it was still doable, but it took a lot more concentration. I know it looks like I'm doing it fast here, but that's because I sped up the film. But it took me a while to figure out which line to trace and which one to not. So, you could still do it bigger with just a coloring sheet. I still recommend doing smaller because it's just easier to tell the lines. The bigger it is, the, hard, the more out of focus it gets. All right, guys. Wow, we sure learned a lot about uh, using different uh, instruments to help us draw. But we also realize it doesn't mean it's actually easier. So, all right, guys, have fun. Good job. You can try either one of these techniques with the phone or with a coloring sheet and a printout. All right, have a good day, guys.